They say it never rains in Southern California. And I've always wondered who they are. Mr. Smith, right on time. I can't tell you how much I appreciate punctuality. It's a sure sign of courtesy and respect for others. Oh, nothing to worry about. There's not a soul within barking distance. <laughs> Find the place okay? Oh yeah, I didn't have any problems. I used to live out here when I was a kid. Back when it was all orange groves. <laughs> I prefer things that are simple and easy. Well, in that case, maybe we can just get on with this before I lose my nerve. Actually, I'm on my lunch break. I'm guessing we have a friend in common? Well, you come very highly recommended. Not to mention any names, of course. Of course. I seem to have carved out a nice little niche for myself. God knows there's always a market and a customer in need. You know, I have to say, you hardly look the part. Not that I have any point of reference. Oh, one should never judge a book by its cover in this life, Mr. Smith. Now, let's do get down to it. You seem to be a busy man. So, talk to me. Well, I'm, I'm not sure what you want me to say, other than the obvious. I mean, I'm sure you've heard it all before. Not necessarily. Why don't you just give me a brief rundown of your current situation? You know, a little context for me to work with. I'm not sure that the details matter. I mean, at the end, this, this is a business arrangement, isn't it? True enough. But in my line of work, one needs to be able to uh, emotionally justify certain things, at least to some extent. Tell me, just what is it that makes your situation so, shall we say, untenable? Well, in a nutshell? She is making my life a living hell. I don't eat, I barely sleep. I mean, I'm a mess, look at me. The only peaceful place in my life is my work, so I, I try not to go home. And believe me, I don't like my job nearly that much. I have tried everything humanly possible to make this work out. Nothing ever seems to change. All my complaints fall on deaf ears. It's, it's, it's totally maddening. Trust me, I, I am not a bad person. But this, this is a bad situation. Yes. But a bad situation is not uncommon. People live with and endure bad situations. The solution we're entertaining is a drastic one. Once we walk away from each other today, it cannot be undone. Yeah, but trust me, I get that. But I need you to do this. I am beyond desperate. I, I, I don't even have the words to describe. I just, I want my old life back. My, my pathetically ordinary and quiet day-to-day -day existence. I am prepared to go down the road in question, but I need your help. Imagine you brought the envelope. It's all there. Cash, the photo, the address of the house is on the back of her picture. And you just have to make sure I'm not there when you do it. <clears throat> I'll be in Palm Springs this weekend. Well, that shouldn't be a problem. I'll need a day or two to survey the location, but this weekend should be fine. I 
want a bitch dead. So be it. This meeting never happened. Your problem is now my problem. Take care of yourself. Oh, uh, Mr. Smith, try to enjoy what's left of this beautiful day. by its cover. A man's got to make a living. Hey, puppy. Thank you.